All right, Mopar fam, we are back in Project Storm and we have the PLX gauge and pillar completely installed. Still got a lot more to go on this project. We still got another gauge to put in, which is the boost gauge. Uh, we still got the supercharger, obviously, to get in, uh, not to mention the water methanol injection kit um, and some other goodies. As you can see, we got her lighting up and we're going to fire the truck up. Oh yeah, Project Storm getting it done. And we have a wide band, ladies and gentlemen. What's up Mopar fam? As you can see, we have Project Storm in the shop. This is uh, day one of starting the supercharger, the Torque Storm supercharger build, and a whole lot of other goodies. So today we're going to be working on getting the PLX wideband gauge, gauge installed along with the gauge pod pillar, and uh, getting the O2 bung welded into the exhaust for the PLX AFR gauge. So that's pretty much what we're working on today. We're going to get all that stuff uh, set up, wired up, ready to roll right now. Alright, so we're getting ready to take off the factory uh, window pillar here. It has the hand grip. We got to remove that so we can put in the auto meter gauge pod. Uh, that's pretty much easy uh, removal. You pop off those little tabs with a flathead screwdriver that's hanging right here. And then there's a couple of bolts that holds it on. Uh, I believe it's 10 millimeters is what he's got in his hand right here. So that's all that holds it on. Other than that, it pretty much pulls out from there. And that's it. So now we're gonna get our gauges, get everything laid out, and get ready for the auto meter pillar. So we are back here with Project Storm. And like I said, we're gonna be putting in this auto meter gauge pod. That is the one screw they supply you. And that's what holds it in. And then we got the PLX gauge, the wideband gauge. Trusted by tuners, baby. Oh yeah. That's the best AFR gauge as far as I'm concerned. Lots and lots of people run this gauge and they absolutely love it. So that's what we're installing today. And then this is the boost gauge. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna get to this one today or not, but the goal today is to get this installed get the wide band completely installed and the o2 bong welded to the exhaust pipe with the sensor installed so that's the ultimate goal today um, as we really don't need this yet till we get the supercharger on um, but that's what we're shooting for trying to get the wide band done and get this done and that'll be uh, a good start to project storm and we are going to go straight to welding on the bung the bung hole kong hodio the bung that we ordered additionally additional with the PLX gauge it don't come with one so if you need one you're going to have to order it separately or pick one up somewhere else um, but this is just a basic steel bung that we're going to weld onto the exhaust pipe in order to thread in our O2 sensor for the PLX wideband gauge alright we are going to Put our O2 sensor on the passenger side over here so we got our tire off and our fender liner out and we're going to drill into the pipe so we can put in uh, weld in our bung as you can see we're going to do this spot right there right above the Cadillac converter and uh, that's where our sensor is going to go so we're going to get that drilled in and then weld in the bung install the uh, O2 sensor and then show you what it all looks like when we're done. All right, Mopar fan. We got a great big ass hole drilled in our exhaust pipe. As you can see, I'm gonna zoom in there. Hot damn, that's a big hole. All right, and then we got our, uh, our uh, bung, our bung hole. It's gonna go right there. And we're gonna weld that on right there over the hole and that's where our sensor is going to go so that'll uh be the next step we're gonna get the welder out start welding up 
and then uh, we'll get the sensor in I'll show you what it looks like our bung hole is welded up try to zoom in up here for you yeah zoom in focus there we go got it welded up and now it's time to put the sensor in this is the PLX wideband O2 sensor it's going to thread right into the bung we just welded on just like so there you go that's what it's going to look like in the pipe and again this is the passenger side with the fender liner out and the tire off you can get to it pretty easy to be able to drill the hole and weld it um, obviously if you can't do the welding part of it go to the exhaust shop and they can figure it out for you and get that sensor in not a big deal so now that we got this in we're gonna work we're gonna go back on the inside of the truck start working on uh, running power a power source and running our uh, gauge up to our pillar and our power up to the pillar and then start routing our wiring from the PLX box down to our O2 sensor right here all right now we're on the inside of the truck and what we're trying to do now is run well we, first we need a switched 12 volt power supply to run our PLX gauge and not to mention our boost gauge light and our water meth uh, injection light when we get everything installed up here in the pillar so what we're doing is kind of like what I did in frostbite this is the 12 volt uh, cigar or lighter plug or whatever you want to call it for the uh, console here as you can see and they have the key on there because that tells you that this has no power unless the key is on and that's kind of what we're looking for um, so we're gonna tap into this with a little scotch connector one of these guys right here we're gonna tap into the power wire which is this uh, looks like a purple or a blue pink wire I just tested it with an ohmmeter to find out which one is the power wire the black one is obviously the ground so we're gonna tap into that wire with a scotch connector and run our own wire behind the dash here going all the way up to the pillar so that we have a 12 volt supply for our gauges so when the keys on our gauges will light up and we have a power supply uh, that's kind of how I did it on frostbite I used the factory uh, cigarette lighter plug or whatever as it's already got its own fuse and all that stuff from the factory so it works out pretty nice and it only works when the keys on so that's another plus so that's where we're at now we're gonna go ahead and tap into this wire and then run our wire up to our pillar and then start working on these gauges all right Mopar fam we got our little red wire you see here tapped in to the cigarette lighter or power outlet supply right here wire runs behind the dash and then it's coming up to where our pillar is gonna be all this extra red wire so we have a 12 volt power source going up here so that we can tap all of our gauges into it so we have light power and uh, that's where we're at so we're gonna keep on moving on show you the next step all right guys hopefully the fans not too loud we are under the truck just wanted to show you this little plug so there's a little floor plug right here that's underneath the driver's seat that we popped out and this is our o2 sensor wiring that's going to run all the way to the actual o2 sensor in the exhaust pipe on the passenger side so under the seat there's a little plug you can pop out and run your wiring underneath the truck over the top of the transmission And we're gonna run it over the top of the frame here over the top of the transmission 
and then route it over to our passenger side header and then our O2 sensor is right there that we added on as you can see it up there so that's uh, how we're gonna route our wiring sorry for all the movement but we're doing this on the ground pool boy style there's a wire that's going to be plugging into the PLX box right here. And we'll just have this sitting under the seat like we do on Frostbite. And like I said, there's the carpet from the factory. The carpet's already cut right here, so it's a good spot to run any wiring or anything like that. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So moving on up, we got our PLX gauge. Uh, jammed in the pod right now we got the wiring coming out the back of it so we're getting ready to wire it up we got the PLX box so pretty much now it's just a matter of uh, hooking up the O2 sensor wiring plugging in the box and then running power and ground to our PLX box and then just kind of tucking everything up nice and neat and putting the pillar on so there we go, continue on. All right, Mopar fam, we are back and we are pretty much done with the PLX install. I, like I showed you earlier, we got the gauge installed in the pillar. Everything is plugged up. We have our power wire that we added. And what we have done is I took a little connector here, a little butt connector. We ran our main power wire and our PLX power wire together and we butt connector pinched them together right here we left this side open because uh, obviously we still have a boost gauge to install plus the water meth and the water meth injection light to power up as well so we will have this open to be able to tap in so we have power that's very easy to get to up here at our pillar um, and then we just kind of have the rest of the wires here zip tied up they come down here, they flow through this little channel, and then they go under the carpet here, under the seat to the PLX box. And then uh, pretty much it, everything will be covered up. You won't be able to see nothing once we get the plastic covers back on the truck right here. So that's pretty much it guys. We are going to go ahead and button this up, put the pillar up, put all the plastics back on, and uh, turn the key on and see if the PLX gauge lights up and works. We are back in Project Storm and we have the PLX gauge and pillar completely installed. Still got a lot more to go on this project. We still got another gauge to put in, which is the boost gauge. Uh, we still got the supercharger, obviously, to get in. Uh, not to mention the water methanol injection kit um, and some other goodies. But right now we got the PLX gauge in. We're going to turn it on and watch it light up here. As you can see, we got her lighting up, and we're gonna fire the truck up. Oh yeah, Project Storm getting it done. And we have a wide band, ladies and gentlemen. Very good gauge, right out of the box. You don't have to program, calibrate, none of that junk it's already done for you plug it up and go so there you go she's uh got an AFR gauge project storm definitely need it when you go boost or add any sort of a supercharger or turbo or anything like that um, definitely a must-have tool even for the NA guys out there this is definitely worth getting one even if you got an NA build uh, you can really really work on your tuning with when you got an AFR gauge but there you go guys I think that's gonna do it for today's video um, as always stay safe out there don't forget hit that subscribe button mash that button down there we'll see you on the next one peace